Imagine holding a rough, unpolished rock in your hand. It looks ordinary, almost worthless. Yet hidden within its veins could be a metal so rare, so desired, that entire empires have risen and fallen because of it. This rock may be carrying gold, the eternal symbol of wealth and power. But here's the twist. Today we are not talking about dangerous acids, toxic mercury, or costly industrial machines. Instead, we are uncovering the natural way to extract gold from gold-bearing rocks, without chemicals, without poisons, and without shortcuts. Just pure earth science, age-old techniques, and human ingenuity. The question is, how do you separate the most precious metal on earth from the stone that cages it without harming yourself or the environment? Stay with me, because what you're about to discover will completely change how you look at ordinary rocks. Every rock tells a story. Gold-bearing rocks, in particular, are nature's hidden vaults. They do not shout their presence with glittering sparkle. Instead, they conceal microscopic veins, specks and flecks of gold locked inside quartz, iron oxides, or sulfides. In history, miners relied on fire, mercury, and cyanide to break gold free. Methods that poisoned rivers, sickened workers, and destroyed landscapes. Today, though, there's a growing fascination with natural extraction. Not just because it's safer, but because it connects us with how early civilizations discovered gold without technology. So let's begin our journey where it all starts. The rock itself. Gold rarely appears in its pure form lying on the ground. Instead, it hides inside host rocks. The most common host is quartz, a hard, crystalline mineral that forms veins through mountains and riverbeds. But quartz alone doesn't guarantee gold. To know if your rock is promising, you need to study clues. Does the quartz contain iron staining, rust-colored streaks from oxidized iron? Does it lie in areas with historical gold activity, like old mine sites or river valleys? Does it appear heavy for its size, suggesting hidden minerals inside? The suspense builds here because most quartz rocks are barren. But when you find the right one, it's like holding a treasure chest sealed for millions of years. Once identified, the rock must be broken down. But without acids or chemicals, the process relies on physics, not chemistry. Ancient miners understood this. They used tools like hammers, mortars, and grinding stones. Today, you can replicate that with a geology hammer or mallet to break the rock into smaller pieces. A mortar and pestle or hand crusher to reduce fragments to gravel. Then eventually a grinding method, even something as simple as a heavy flat stone, to turn the gravel into fine powder. The finer the powder, the more gold you expose. Remember, gold is malleable. It bends and flattens when struck, while ordinary rock fractures and turns to dust. This difference becomes your first advantage. Gold has one property that makes it unique. It's incredible density. It is nearly 20 times heavier than water, and far denser than the quartz or host rock surrounding it. This means if you mix crushed rock with water and shake it, the lighter material will wash away, leaving the heavier gold particles behind. This principle is called gravity separation, and it's been used for thousands of years. Think of the classic gold pan. Swirling, washing, and letting water carry away lighter sand while the heavy gold settles at the bottom. But here's where it gets interesting. Without chemicals, this method alone can isolate visible gold. If the host rock contained enough free milling gold, you'll begin to see tiny flashes of yellow at the bottom of your pan. At this stage, excitement builds. You've crushed, you've panned, and now you hold a concentrate. But the story doesn't end here, because not all gold is visible. Some is hidden as microscopic particles. To the naked eye, it's still trapped in black sands, iron oxides, and heavy minerals. So how do you coax it out? The next steps combine ancient wisdom with natural science, heat, fire, and persistence. And the best part? Still no toxic chemicals. For centuries, fire has been humanity's greatest tool for separating metals. The process is simple in concept, but requires patience. 1. Heat the gold-bearing concentrate in a natural furnace or crucible. 2. The heat drives away impurities, breaking down sulfides and oxides. 3. Gold, with its high melting point, remains behind as a glowing bead. This is called smelting, 
but traditionally it was done with toxic fluxes. However, there are natural safe fluxes you can use instead. Crushed glass, borax, or even sand, which lower the melting point of impurities and allow gold to separate more cleanly. The suspense here is electrifying, because as the fire rages, you're not just heating rock, you're recreating an ancient transformation that turns stone into treasure. Imagine pulling a crucible from the fire, letting it cool, and then breaking away the slaggy crust. Inside lies a tiny bead, heavy beyond its size, glowing faintly even after the flame dies. This is gold freed from rock, without cyanide, without mercury, without harm. The moment is dramatic. This bead may be small, but it represents the Earth's story condensed over eons. It also proves something remarkable. You don't need chemicals to win gold from stone, only knowledge, persistence, and patience. But we are not done yet. Even naturally smelted gold contains impurities, traces of silver, copper, or iron. Refining without chemicals becomes an art form where traditional methods come alive. Ancient smiths hammered, reheated, and hammered again, driving out non-gold metals. Over time, the bead grew purer, its yellow hue deepening. Today, modern hobbyists replicate this with small forges and repeated melting, still relying on physics, not poison. The result? Clean, natural gold, safe to handle, and safe for the earth. Why this matters today? You might wonder, if chemical methods are faster, why return to natural techniques? The answer lies in three powerful truths. 1. Safety. No exposure to toxic mercury or cyanide. 2. Sustainability. No rivers poisoned, no soil destroyed. 3. Connection. A deeper bond with the earth and the heritage of gold seekers before us. And here's the most surprising fact. Some of the world's richest discoveries were made this way. Simply crushing, washing, heating, and repeating until nature revealed her treasure. The suspense continues. We've explored identifying rocks, crushing them, washing for gravity separation, and even smelting with natural methods. But the story of natural gold extraction is far from over. Because the real challenge isn't just freeing the gold, it's maximizing recovery without losing even the tiniest flake. To collect pure gold, this washing must be done again and again, each cycle concentrating the material. Larger fragments shine early, but the real wealth is in the dust, the specks so small they could slip through careless fingers. And here is where skill becomes art, maintaining patience as each swirl uncovers another gleam. For some, the process ends here, with a pouch of fine grains, but the forgotten method goes deeper because raw concentrates still contain impurities, bits of black sand, magnetite, or other heavy minerals clinging alongside the gold. And to isolate the king of metals from its companions, one must learn the final steps. Nature provides yet another ally, magnetism. Many impurities like magnetite respond to a magnet's call, while gold remains untouched, indifferent. By carefully drawing a magnet across the concentrates, sometimes wrapped in cloth to prevent contact, the prospector watches the black sands leap away, leaving behind a purer, brighter residue. This is the moment suspense builds. What remains is smaller in volume, but greater in worth. Every grain here is closer to being pure. At last, imagine holding in your hand a small glowing bead formed from fragments once hidden deep inside stone. This bead is not just gold, it is history, science, and mystery fused into a single shining object. Each particle of it was once locked away for millions of years, waiting for human hands to find, free, and cherish. And here lies the suspenseful truth. This method, though forgotten by many, was the very foundation of the great gold rushes of history. It built empires, toppled kingdoms, and set thousands of seekers wandering across wild frontiers, all with nothing more than rock, water, gravity, patience, and fire. What is gold if not a reflection of human spirit? It resists corrosion, it resists destruction, and yet, when treated with care, it bends, melts, and takes new form. The prospector who extracts gold without chemicals does more than claim wealth, they honor nature's process, unchanged for millennia. 
And perhaps the greatest treasure of all is not the beat in the hand, but the knowledge in the mind. That in a world of shortcuts and chemicals, there remains a path carved by patience, endurance, and respect for nature. So now, when you see a rock glittering with possibility, remember this. The earth still hides treasures in plain sight, waiting for those who know the old ways. No acids, no chemicals, no shortcuts, only the raw forces of nature. And that is where EGS Pro stands, uncovering not just gold, but the secrets that lie beneath every stone. Stay tuned, because the story of Earth's hidden wealth is far from over. Tomorrow's rock might hold the next secret. This is EGS Pro, where knowledge is the real gold and every stone has a story.